Hi, this is Michael Hickey, fifth base fiver. My wife and I are full timers, and here in this video, I'm going to give you the top five considerations that I have when selecting a travel trailer. Yeah, my first consideration is easy access. When when my wife and I stop at a rest stop, I want to be able to put down the steps, open the door, and go inside for a snack. A-frames and pop-ups uh, certainly have their niche with many families, but they do not have easy access to the inside when you're traveling. My second consideration is having a refrigerator that will operate on electricity and propane. There will be times when you don't have access to electricity and it sure is nice to be able to keep your food cold with propane. My third consideration is a travel trailer with a fiberglass exterior. They generally have an aluminum frame and uh, styrofoam insulation. They're lighter and they don't uh, block radio waves like cell service and park Wi-Fi. Here's an example of a travel trailer with aluminum siding. They're generally less expensive for the budget-minded camper. They have a wood frame and fiberglass insulation, and they're a little bit heavier than a comparably sized fiberglass travel trailer. My fourth consideration is to have a full queen size bed. That's 60 inches by 80 inches. That size mattress is very co common in the marketplace, generally very reasonably priced. You get a lot of choices. So I stick with a full queen. Here's a floor plan with what they call a short queen, 60 inches by 74 inches. Obviously it's shorter, but in addition, there's a much less selection of mattresses, and they're generally a little bit more expensive. My fifth consideration is cargo capacity. This sticker can be found on the side of the travel trailer, and as you can see, this shows 2,860 pounds. That's uh, very generous. I'd be very happy with that. Probably uh, 1,000 pounds would be good. Well, go slow and you'll stay on the road. This is Mike and bye for now.